Welcome! Today I'm turning myself into Emma Chamberlain. Or at least we're gonna to attempt to. She had an amazing look done by Lily Keys that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And today I'm gonna to do my best to recreate it. I'm a little bit delayed on this little makeup recreation because I was waiting for the Byredo products to arrive and they have finally made their way into my homestead. Look at this packaging, honestly incredible. I really would love to uh, say thanks to Lily Keys, the makeup artist who did this fabulous makeup look on Emma Chamberlain because she actually listed most of the products she used, which is sometimes very rare. Makeup artists sometimes like to keep their secrets to themselves. So I was very happy to see that she had partnered with Byredo on this and listed all those products. So I picked everything up that she used and we're gonna to try to recreate it. The rest, we're just gonna to have to use our imagination to attempt to create a look similar, but we're gonna do our best, fam. I even, you know, I tried to do the little hair thingy. Uh... <laughs> We, you know, we tried, we tried. Now I'm just getting an itch. Like I literally feel like I'm getting a zit here on my face where this is dangling. Look at that. I'm getting an irritated patch on my face from this stupid thing. <laughs> but it's okay, we're doing it for the look. If you like these recreation videos, please do give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. And if there are any other looks that you want me to recreate, please let me know in the comments down below. My friends, I'm going to zoom you in and let us begin. Also, before we put makeup on our face, I'd like to just say, yes, my lips are bruised. <laughs> you should see the other guy. No, I did get my lips redone and they are bruised and let us please just ignore it. <laughs> It is lingering and it is driving me crazy. But that's okay, because we're gonna do our best to cover it. Ah. Okay, so we've tucked our little noodle out of the way and let us begin. I'm actually gonna start with the eyes, eyebrows. Let me just actually really quickly do my eyebrows. I feel like we need to just get that out of the way. Get them nice and big and fluffy. Emma Chamberlain has a fabulously giant, beautiful, feathery eyebrows, just the way I love my brows to be and I'm gonna try to just like make mine nice and big and bushy and feathery as well. So I'm just gonna take my pencil, this is the Dior Brow Styler, and I'm just gonna like draw some hairs upward. Because she has quite like a rounded look with her brows, I'm just gonna kind of loosely follow that idea as I'm filling my brows in. All right, I'm gonna slick these up, get them nice and high and lifted. And if we need to fix or adjust them later on, then we absolutely will. But I'm gonna give these brows a little kiss to the sky. I really wanted to start with the eyes today. Just in case anything goes awry, I do wanna make sure that I have the ability to clean it up. And this is quite a dark smoky eye. Now, I had to go through all the photos. There were a lot of photos posted and the eye look kind of looked slightly different in every single one. In some it looked like really light and ethereal and others it looked really, really dark and smoky. And Vanity Fair posted the like getting ready video with Emma Chamberlain, which really helped you get a better glimpse at it. From what I gather, they started to do one look that was like very pink and smoky all over the lid, kind of did a half wipe and then added like a really dark smoked out wing onto the eye on top of it. So there's kind of like a little mix of all kinds of things on the eyes. So we're just gonna play and we're gonna do our best to kind of replicate this very, very cool look. And I've also never really used Byredo products. This is my first time ordering from their site, getting some really fun colors. The packaging is really cool. It's a super expensive, expensive lineup of products, but I'm excited to play with them nonetheless. So I'm actually gonna start by putting a little bit of concealer onto my eyes just to set them a bit. So I'm gonna take some concealer, whoop, 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 whoop. blop it on there and blend it out with a blending brush just so we make sure we have a nice canvas to be working with. And then I think I'm gonna start with this eyeshadow palette right here. This is the shade Siren. The packaging is absolutely phenomenal for this. Some really, really fun, bright colors. Like I would have never gravitated towards a palette like this. I totally bought it like to recreate this look. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, that is super fun. And we could definitely like do a lot of playing with this, but I find the color selection like super unusual and really cool and unique. So the packaging, you're definitely getting what you're paying for in the packaging of these products. Like this is very substantial and gorgeous. Something to like sit on your vanity or your desk, your table. But yeah, let's have a little playtime. So she mentioned that she used these two colors, the lighter pink and the darker pink from this palette. I, I would argue that there was a little bit of this shadow on there too, but I'm not gonna judge. I'm gonna follow what she wrote <laughs> and let's give it a go. I'm actually gonna start by taking this pink. I just wanna see what it's like. There's a little bit of cool, funky reflect in there. It kind of looks like this is all over the lid in some capacity. Like there's just this little wash all over 
kind of. This is my assumption. It just looks like it's just this light dusting all over. And that's what the original look looked like. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. It's very, very chunky glittery. I wasn't expecting it to be so glittery. It's literally flying all over my shirt. <laughs> but I'm just gonna press that on and kind of let that be, yeah, just a fun, a fun little wash of color all over to start with. We might dip back into that later, but let's just do that for now. So then it looks like the pink gets a little bit deeper on the outside of the eye. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this deeper pink. Let me just swatch it first. Yeah, see, it's like, it looks really deep, but it actually swatches like quite sheer and iridescent. So I think that this on the outer part of the eye will be very, very nice. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that with a fluffy brush. This is the Refer 01 brush. And I'm just gonna use this to deepen up this outer socket. Just kind of like lightly blending it into the center where the lighter pink is. Just letting it be like a little, a little galaxy wash. Wow, I'm so glad <laughs> we're doing the eyes first because these glitters are like falling all over my face. I can just feel it all over, all over. So yeah, I'm just blending that out boop, 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 outside of the crease. Cause then we're gonna do like a smoky black wing. So we'll clean it up and I feel like it'll just blend really nicely into this pink. Yeah. It's also so hard to tell what makeup actually looks like at these events because there's so much flash used. Like there's so many bright lights and so much flash used that a lot of the makeup ends up looking really washed out, which makes it look really beautiful. But I think sometimes you'd be surprised at how deep and dark and smoky that this might look like actually in real life. Because again, from some angles, this looks like a really, really dark, like black smoky eye. Okay, so we're gonna leave the shadow for now and we're gonna dive into the black eyeliner. This is the Kali Kali Crayon Kajal Pencil. It's this tiny little packaging. And then when you open it, ooh, look at how giant <laughs> that pencil is. Looks very intense. I definitely want to have my little, like smaller smudgy brushes on hand to help out. But basically I'm just gonna be putting this all over. They've done a really nice like smoked out wing. It looks like it's all in the waterline and smudged out on the bottom lashes too. There's a little gap left in the center. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start on the inner corner and just draw this around. I'm gonna have to be really careful. I've got really blinky watery eyes. That's gonna be interesting. If that stays, that's gonna be magic. Okay, so I wanna be really, really precise with this. We're gonna do an initial layer and we're gonna smoke it out all over the lash line. And then we're gonna go in with liquid liner after the fact. But I just wanna start, this is, wow, like it felt dry on my hand, honestly, when I first drew that on, but this is actually going on so easily and so creamily. Okay, I'm gonna take this little Katie Jane Hughes Spectrum brush number 21, and I'm just gonna start softening that. So really lightly, touching that liner, I'm just gonna push it into the lash line and softly blend it out to give it a much more smoky look. And I've got these great little Q-tips here and I'm just gonna kind of clean up the shadow just right underneath my eye. Also that eyeliner like flicked a little flick here. Oh my God. And I'm basically just gonna use that to create where I want the wing to go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this really slowly because I don't wanna muck it up. And this is such a creamy pencil. I'm like, I'm shocked. I'm shooketh, shooketh at its creaminess. It's just so much more creamy than you would think by looking at it. Okay, I'm basically gonna move between these two small little pencils, this little smudgy one, and then this little MAC eyeliner brush. I'm gonna take the eyeliner brush right now because I don't want this to be too wide. Like I still want it to be like a liner. And I'm just gonna like, Push that down. Oop. Hey, I don't think that looks half bad. Okay, let's see if we can do it on the other side. One wing is definitely higher than the other, but that is okay. We're gonna press forward. Uh, this liner continues onto the waterline and the lower lash line, but there's a lovely little gap in the center that we are going to address in just a moment but I'm basically just gonna like take this liner right before the center of my eye. How does it stay like that in the waterline? That must be magic. It must just be like a five minute red carpet thing because there's no way that this black is gonna not move around in my eyeballs. <laughs> but first we're gonna connect it on the lower lash line here. Oop. Just like instant, instant. Whenever I try and put eyeliner on, it's just like, nope, bring on the waterworks. So I'm just gonna smudge that out. God, I've honestly, like I am floored by this black eyeliner. It is so, so creamy. A little bit goes such a long way. It's honestly crazy. Okay, we're gonna ditch the black liner for now and we're gonna move on to the sparkly shimmery one. This one is the Chandy 
pencil. This very, very sparkly, sparkly silver. Did I say gray? I meant silver. Okay, so this silver is just like all up in here. I'm just gonna rub this silver right in this little center bit that we've left nice and open. Is it on the whole lower lash line? Maybe a little bit more. I'll just like put it along. And we can always touch it up later because some of the photos has a little bit more sparkle on the lower lash line. Some of them have a bit less. We'll just, we'll just go with more is more here. Guys, these are so creamy. They're so easy to apply. When you open it, you look at it, you'd think it would just be this like rock hard pencil that does nothing. But I'm like, they're so pigmented. I, I can't believe it. Can't believe. So then this is where my guesstimating has to go in. She says she uses this other palette. This is the Metal Boots in the Snow palette. And she specifically says that she uses this very, very shimmery shade here on the end. So what I think she's done is actually put this on top of the liner and then go in with black liner after, but I don't know. Oh, wow, that's like, that glitter really sets in there. I'm gonna take that little pencil that we've been using to smudge, cause this, this is like a chunky, chunky glitter. And I'm just gonna push some like onto the center, like right here along that liner, you know? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's what's going on here. Like we'll do this and then we'll go over it again with the black liner, but just adding a little bit of extra fun glitter there. I can honestly say I have never, Never done a makeup look like this. This is fun. This is this is playtime for sure. I also can't wait to see what this is like trying to take off later. It's falling all over my face, but it's really pretty looking. Now, how do I look? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna leave the eyes for now. I'm gonna put the eyeshadow aside. I'm gonna hold off on mascara just in case anything happens while we're doing the rest of the face, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face now. I'm just taking a wipe and cleaning up any of the excess glitter that has fallen down under the face. And in terms of her base, she didn't mention any of the face products that she used. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a really, really nice light base. It doesn't even look like she has much like bronzer, or highlighter or contour on. Like it's a super, super natural, natural base. She's got beautiful natural skin going on. So we're gonna try and make a look that looks like that. So I'm gonna take the Smashbox primer, the Photo Finish Primerizer Plus. Put a nice amount of this on. Make sure that we're looking really nice and fresh and hydrated. Just gonna put that all over. And then I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have this one in the shade four. I do have a bit of a fake tan on. You probably can't tell in the cameras, but I am gonna use shade four. Shade four is my nice little fake tan shade. So I'm just gonna do a nice light layer of that. I'm gonna apply it with a beauty blender to make sure that it's nice and light and fresh. I'm literally, I'm literally getting a breakout where this hair is sitting. How weird is that? Like all of this on my forehead has popped up since I've had my hair done like this. I must be allergic to something in my hair. Truly, this is bananas. <laughs> Just gotta whip that out of the way for a sec. <laughs> I'm gonna use some concealer to brighten and perfect the rest of my face. I'm gonna, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I need to be really careful about this actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the lighter shade. This is shade 25. I'm just gonna try to really carefully place that around the eye. I was about to shove that right in and I'm like, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got a lot of liner in there. So because of that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and blend this out first with a brush. I think I'm just gonna use a good old little eyeshadow brush actually. I'm just gonna really lightly pat that around, trying to avoid where we've placed the eyeliner but just brightening the, the darkness and the purple from my bags underneath the eye. And now from the purple and black eyeshadow that we've also put on. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with the shade 30 and use that to just kind of do the rest of the concealing that I want. Some specific spot concealing. We're gonna put a nice amount up here on this forehead. I don't know what the frig is going on up there and just put a little bit extra around my mouth. I actually really enjoyed blending that concealer out with the brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Gay Hughes number eight brush and just use that to blend out the rest of the concealer. I'm just gonna pat it all in. So 
So with the color on the face, there's like a super, super subtle hint of a very, very light bronzer and a really nice wash of blush across the face. So I pulled out the Elf Putty Bronzer because this is a really, really nice, light, very thin bronzer that I think we can do a nice layer of. And then I also pulled out this new Laura Mercier blush. I actually picked this up in the shade Provence. And it's just a really, really nice, light kind of pinky nude shade that I think looks like this. And I, and I assume, my assumption is, is that if she had used Byredo products, she would have also included that. So I'm assuming she used something that wasn't Byredo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play and try to achieve the same look. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Elf Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. I'm dipping that in with my Smith 157 brush, dipping it into my hand first. And then I'm gonna place that super high up on my cheekbones and just blend that really, really softly into the hairline and up onto the temple just for a really, really subtle bronzing contour moment. I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer just down my nose as well. There's definitely some color going on on her nose, so I just wanna make sure to bring a little bit of that bronzer onto the center of the face here. Okay, then for the blush, I'm also gonna take a little dollop of that into the palm of my hand. And I'm gonna use my Refer 04 brush and just take really small amounts, just working off of my hand. And just pat that in. The blush like definitely goes right into the center of the face and across the nose in a really like natural sun-kissed flush kind of way, which I love. So I'm just gonna press that across. I think this shade is so perfect. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and now I wanna definitely do a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and use that just right in the center of my face. I'm using a nice soft fluffy brush to just make sure that we have no shine where we put that concealer. We just want controlled shine, just right at the top of the cheeks. So let's switch to the lip for a quick sec. She said that she used the shade Earth Dust for the lipstick. This is the little lipstick bullet here. Oh, the shade looks quite dark actually. It looks like much more peachy peachy uh, in the photos, but also in the Vanity Fair video, you could see her touching up the lips with a little MAC lip liner. So I pulled out two lip liners. I grabbed Subculture and Strip Down. Because it is a little bit more on the like peachy pinky side, I think I'm gonna start with Subculture. I'm gonna line my lips. It's like a really nice overlining moment that she has there actually. I think it has a really nice effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this liner first. And it kind of looks like she just like went right across the cupid's bow and actually really rounded it out. Again, I don't know which shade she used. All I saw was the little MAC packaging, but we're just gonna take a good educated guess here. Okay, let's go ahead and try this little earth dust lipstick. I haven't even swatched it yet, actually. Oh yeah, super nice and balmy. Love that. Don't love how dry my lips are right now though. Ooh. They're literally like flaking away. So the longer I'm staring at the eyes, the more I actually just really enjoy it. Uh, I thought I was gonna be done here, but I also forgot that she did use a black liquid liner. So I'm gonna take a little bit of black liquid liner just on the top of the eyes. I don't even know if I'm gonna wing it out, but we just wanna finish off the eyes here and give it a little bit of extra definition. So I'm just taking this KVD tattoo liner right along the lash line. I'm trying to be so precise and careful to just make that on the lash line to give it a little bit of definition. So that's the liner applied. Now, it honestly doesn't look like she has a lot of mascara on. I didn't actually pick up the Vibrato mascara. I am still making my way through this lovely little MAC stack mini mascara. So I just wanted to use the mascara that I had open. And yeah, it doesn't look like she has much mascara on. It doesn't look like there's any false lashes. There's a very little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do a really light coat of mascara and kind of let the eyeshadow do the talking. And my friends, that's the finished look. <laughs> 
You know, I never know what it's showing up like in the camera when I'm sitting here, but I am looking at this eyeshadow and I'm honestly like baffled. I'm baffled by how much I love it. These colors are so fun together. It is such an unexpected combo from some eyeshadow palettes that have colors that I never thought that I would have seen myself playing with, let alone enjoying. And I think that's the magic of doing these kind of like makeup artist recreation videos because it's really exciting to see like what the pros use, how they make makeup magic and throw things Things together that you would never think of doing yourself and this was super fun I actually really really love this look I really love how simple the skin is and I mean listen it needs work and it's also giving me zits but this little this little you know hair moments kind of cute too I don't mind this little this little free spirit on our head here <laughs> Yeah, I'm really, really happy with this look. Honestly, thrilled. Would love to know if you have recreated this look or if you're gonna try it at home as well. Honestly, really happy with it. Absolutely would do it again and love how it turned out. So that's the finished look, everyone. I really hope that you guys enjoyed playing with me today. Please let me know in the comments down below if there are any other looks that you want me to try recreating. You guys, thanks so much for being here and for watching. I'll see you all very, very soon for a new video. Bye! BRB just gonna go to my euphoria audition. <laughs>